Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be doing a recap for the movie Annihilation. Before getting into our video, subscribe to our channel to avoid missing updates. Spoiler alert! The film starts with a biologist named Lena in a containment cell speaking to men in hazmat suits while a large crowd gathers outside to listen in. Another man, Lomax, is questioning Lena about a recent mission from which she's the only one who's returned. Lomax claims she and her team were gone for months, which Lena claims felt like days or weeks. She confirms the deaths of two of her teammates, but the fates of the other two remain unknown to her. She has no idea what she's just gone through. A meteorite then strikes a lighthouse, and a mysterious glow is emitted. Lena is working as a John Hopkins professor three years before this event and sometime before her mission, teaching her class about a cancer cell that appears to multiply. Her husband Kane has been missing for over a year after leaving on a mission. Daniel, her co-worker, invites her to a barbecue he's throwing with his wife, but Lena says she'd rather paint her bedroom. Kane mysteriously returns home, but his condition quickly worsens. He and Lena are on their way to the hospital when they're stopped by security forces that sedate them and take them to Area X. Lena awakens in a compound built by an organization known as the Southern Reach. She meets Dr. Ventress, who tells her that Kane was part of an expedition into the Shimmer, a location outside the compound that has formed around the area surrounding the lighthouse in recent years. Kane appears to be the only person to have returned from the Shimmer, as the rest of his team was reported missing or killed. Kane is in the hospital, but he's dying. Ventress will lead a team into the Shimmer to find its energy source, along with three other women, physicist Josie Raddick, anthropologist Cassie Shepard, and paramedic Anya Thorinson. Thorinson greets Lena and invites her to meet with other team members. Lena chooses not to tell them Kane is her husband or that she has a personal stake in the mission. The five women quickly enter the Shimmer, but when they wake up, they're in a camp with no recollection of what they did after they went in. They figure they've been inside for at least three days based on their remaining food supplies. Josie Raddick, a physicist, informs her colleagues that none of their communication equipment can send signals out of the Shimmer. She examines the compass and discovers that it's also broken. They travel south until they reach the coast. They come across a hut covered in various flowers that appear to be of different species along the way. Lena notices that they're all sprouting from the same branch. She deduces that all of those flowers are from the same plant, which is constantly mutating. Something grabs Radic and pulls her under the water. They drag Radic to safety and search for the creature who attacked her. A massive alligator emerges from the water and begins crawling toward them. Lena shoots it continuously as it gets closer to Thorinson until it stops crawling. Lena examines the reptile's teeth after it dies and discovers it's mutated. In the interrogation room, Lena tells Lomax that they saw other mutated animals on the way to the coast. Lomax speculates that they're hallucinations, but Lena insists everyone saw the same thing during the expedition. The team escapes the swamp using the boats they discovered near the hut. Lena and Shepard row together and talk about their past. Lena reveals that she spent seven years in the army and met her husband there. However, as Shepard interrogates her, Lena lies and tells her that her husband is Kane. Shepard claims that they all agreed to go on the expedition because they were dealing with a problem in their lives. Anya is recovering from an addiction, whereas Josie most likely attempted suicide, as evidenced by the scars on her forearm. Nobody knows about Ventress, but she doesn't seem to have family or friends. Shepard reveals that her daughter died of leukemia and that she's never been the same since. The group arrives in Fort Amaya, which served as the Southern Reach's headquarters before becoming a part of the Shimmer. As the investigation continues, the team discovers a memory card and inserts it in Raddick's camera. In the video, Kane opens his teammate's stomach to reveal a worm-like organism moving around his stomach. Thorinson concludes that the previous expedition's members went insane and killed each other, but Raddick believes there was a creature inside the man's stomach. They come across a corpse that is merged with a growing fungi colony. Raddick expresses her desire to leave the base, but Ventress claims that they had no choice because it's getting dark outside. That night, Lena remembers her husband abruptly leaving for covert operations, canceling their plans to spend time together in the countryside. She examines their earlier cell samples and notices that they're rapidly splitting. Lena and Ventress are startled when they hear a loud noise outside. Shepard comes over to investigate. A large animal approaches Shepard from behind and grabs her as they look around the fort. Raddick and Thorinson insist on returning to the facility now that Shepard is gone. Ventress wants to continue the journey to the lighthouse and discover what's causing the shimmer. 
Lena expresses her desire to return, but claims that they leave the Shimmer by following the coast until they reach the perimeter wall. She points out that it took them six days to get to the fort, but will only take two more days to get to the coast. Lomax accuses Lena of lying to her teammates in the interrogation room because she wants to continue the journey to the lighthouse. He claims that Lena had no idea whether the proceeding was safe, but she decided as if she did. Lena claims that the Ventress made the decision. Lomax points out that Ventress is sick with cancer and has no plans to return. They discover Shepard's shoe on the ground on their way to the coast and decide to look for her. Lena ventures deep into the woods and encounters two deer who appear to be moving in unison. She comes across Shepard's mangled body beneath a tree as she continues her search. The team decides to stay in an abandoned house as the sun sets. They discover plants in the yard that are shaped like humans. Radic explains her theory that the signals inside the shimmer are scrambled rather than blocked. She claims that the shimmer refracts light and radio signals in DNA. Lena recalls her affair with Daniel while her husband was away that night. Lena is concerned that her husband is already aware of their illicit relationship and promises Daniel that it will never happen again. Later that night, Lena awakens to find Thorinson pointing her gun at her before knocking her out. When Lena awakens, she's tied to a chair alongside Radic and Ventress. Thorinson discovers Kane is Lena's husband after obtaining her locket. She's become paranoid and aggressive, and she believes Lena murdered Shepard. They then hear what appears to be Shepard pleading for help. Thorinson rushes to find her, but the bear creature appears to stalk the woman. Its noises are Shepard's dying screams for help. Thorinson rushes back in, attempting to shoot the bear, but it attacks her, ripping her throat and jaw out. Radic manages to escape and shoots the bear to death. Ventress covers Thorinson's body. Ventress sets out the next day to find the lighthouse herself. Radic notices roots and leaves sprouting from her arms at an alarming rate. She informs Elena that the shimmer refracted DNA and the signals on their equipment rather than distorting them. Radic walks away and vanishes before Lena can locate her. Lena discovers a video camera next to a burnt corpse in the lighthouse. Kane tells the camera person to find her before killing himself with a grenade. The camera person is revealed to be his double. Lena enters the meteor crater and meets Ventress, who informs her that the shimmer will eventually encompass and refract everything. She disintegrates into a pulsing mandible that absorbs a blood droplet from Lena's face, resulting in a humanoid that moves like Lena. She tricks the humanoid into accepting a phosphorus grenade as it transforms into an identical copy of her, unable to harm it and prevent it from fleeing. Lena flees after detonating the grenade, but her doppelganger does not. Lena tells her interrogator in Area X that the Shimmer was not destroying anything but changing everything. She sees Kane, who has since recovered, and asks if he's still Kane. He says, I don't think so. He asks if she's truly Lena, but she does not respond. She just hugs him and doesn't say anything. Both of their eyes begin to glow as they continue to embrace. That's where the film ends. That's all we've got for you today guys. Don't hesitate to like the video and leave a comment telling us how much you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the following video. Till then, goodbye.